right, hey friends. So, as you can probably tell from the wall behind me that is behind my bed, I have an affinity for vinyl records. The funny part about this uh, is first that I was born in the wrong decade, right? Like 85 wasn't a good year for uh, people who would love records when they're 26. And um, other than that, <laughs> it's also funny because I've never played a vinyl record in my life. I've listened to them, but I, I've never had a record player. I've never played a record in my life. So I bought myself a record player, I think last night and uh, or yesterday. And so it's coming in the mail on Monday, which I'm very excited about. I can barely contain myself. But uh, I developed a new addiction today, I suppose would be the best way to describe it, and that is Amoeba Records in Hollywood. So cool. You walk in and it's just like, there's stuff everywhere, and it's like a giant collage of all the musical wonder you could ever desire, and uh, I bought a bunch of records for myself, and so I just wanted to update you on that. And actually the record player I bought is portable, so while I'm doing all my projects and such, I can be listening to records playing on a record player, which just sort of, I also have, I think I just have a fascination with like old type things and kind of old fashioned. Uh, as you can see, this is my vintage typewriter over here, made in 1930. Underwood, it's a beautiful thing. And I finally just got it working with the new tape and everything, so the typewriting will be happening as well. But, uh, okay, so, I've got George Benson happening. I got Sarah Vaughn singing. Also very excited about that. Uh, you, I couldn't, I couldn't leave Stevie Wonder alone. So, Stevie Wonder, Songs in the Key of Love. Does it get better? Oh, yeah, it does, actually. Uh, Star Jazz, which it's got uh, Erto, Patty Austin, Joe Beck, and David Sanborn, or David Sanborn, Hank Crawford, George Benson, Nina Simone, uh, Jim Hall, Art Farmer, Ron Carter. Old school jazz record. I also got a little Sophie B. Hawkins and a dollar, a dollar. All of these songs for a dollar. Well, not all the records were a dollar. Don't let me fool you. Uh, like this Louis Armstrong Greatest Hits, seven bucks. As you can see, like I said, I'm going to have a problem. Ella Fitzgerald, The Wonderful World of Ella for two ninety nine. Excited. Je m'appelle Barbara. Farmer Streisand. And just because I had to, and I couldn't believe, like all of the artists that I like, well, okay, not all. A large majority. So Adele, uh, Jill Scott, Erica Badu. Um, okay, Lauren Hill had hers, but it was like $44 out of my budget. Um, the Civil Wars, uh, Tragic Kingdom, uh, the No Doubt record. And uh, so all these people that I love actually have vinyl records, and I never knew it because I would have gotten a record player a long time ago. But for today, I just got Erica Badu Badu's new album and Jill Scott's new album because I love them. And I don't have the Erica Badu album yet. I have the other one on iTunes, Jill Scott. But anyway, so that will be the soundtrack, sort of the turntable to my turnstile, if you catch my drift. Excited. One more time, I'm going to say it. You, this is going to be the most annoying video because you're going to be like, stop saying you're excited. But even if I didn't say it, I have a feeling you would know. So, anyways, on Monday when I get my record player, I will be sure to play you some. Okay? So, you can put in requests for what song you want to hear. Alright, have a good one.